All right, now that I'm back, we are working on this 2011 F350 today. I had it in here the other day. Uh, it had a check engine light on for quite a while now um, for a deaf heater. But I was waiting for the tank to empty out so that I could drop the tank and change the heater. Um, so I did that. I ended up having to replace the pump at the same time because the nipple where the hose clips on broke. Um, so it's got a new heater and a new pump. And I got that problem solved, but now we get a new code. I'm gonna show you what it is. I'm just using a Bluetooth uh, scan tool. It works pretty good for me. You can do whatever you want, but let's see. Just tiny little thing. This is the blue driver. About 100 bucks on Amazon. I'll put in the, a link to it in the description. Download the app on your phone. It actually gives you a lot of good information. <laughs> it's working on connecting. Let's see. Blue driver. There we go. Connected. Blue driver connected. Blue light means it's connected. Okay, connecting again. Takes a second. Okay, now I'm going to uh, read the codes. If I can't really see it. Uh, check engine light, common dash lights, all systems, and cancel. You can do uh, check engine lights very fast. Common uh, dash lights, ABS, and stuff like that will give you two. That uh, takes a little longer than all modules, takes a long time. So we're just going to do the uh, check engine light because that's what's on. Scanning. 0, 50, 100%. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Okay, we got a bunch of codes here. Reductant level, circuit A, open range, all these sensors. Oh my lord. Well, that's because I got a, I got a plug underneath the back pl unplugged. Because I'm working on the wiring. Um, so then within this, I click this, it gives me a better report. Uh, in this case, it's not because it's kind of a weird code. All right, okay, so like this is an example of what a good code would look like. Uh, a P205D code definition, reductant tank temperature sensor high circuit. This is for the DEF. Top reported fix, replace DEF heater. Three other reported common fixes. Replace diesel exhaust fluid temperature sensor, replace exhaust fluid, reprogrammed entering control module. And now they've added an option for you to choose and input your own. It takes a VIN code right out of it. Um, but in this case, I have a reductant pressure sensor circuit low. So I did some research online and trying to figure out what this problem could be. And one video, somebody had it just a, a wire opened up after they did some work, which makes sense because I did some work underneath here. That's your death tank right there. I cleared the code, it had a the heater open circuit fault. I replaced the heater after dropping the tank and then I threw a new code. Uh, well, actually, before I roll in here, if you're gonna do any work on this death tank, I recommend dropping the spare tire. Putting it, I got these ramps I put it up on and got a chalk in the front. But if you drop the spare tire, you can literally sit on the ground underneath here and unplug everything up top. <clears throat> Whether than having to lay underneath this thing or, or drop the tank, which is what I did yesterday with an empty tank. Now it's full. So now that I can sit up here and kind of look at what we got, you can see... Here's my plug that's un unplugged, that's why I got five codes. And then here's the other end of it. Now, after, when I was fighting with this thing, trying to, uh, let me turn the brightness down so you can see a little bit. When I was down here fighting with this thing, trying to unplug it, when I lowered the tank, this line kept getting twisted like this as I was trying to unplug the thing. And what I found here is there's a very little crack in the wire which would make sense why it's saying low voltage. It's because there's a crack in this wire. Now, from what I see online, it's supposed to have half a volt. So I'm gonna get my multimeter out 
and I'm gonna see what the voltage of this particular pin is and see if it's like 0 0.07 or whatever it is and then go back and I'm assuming that the 0.5 volts is what it needs and it's saying low voltage and that's where it's coming from. So let's get the multimeter and take a look. Okay, so I got my multimeter here. I got hooked up to a, what I believe is it. Well, I got hooked up to a ground. You can see my black lead there. Uh, and what I'm checking is on the right side, the top pin, the smaller one. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna point you guys down at this this meter. And I'm basically doing what this other guy did, and I'll even link his video in here. Cause he's got a little bit more proof to what he was doing. Okay, so right now I'm not touching anything. You're looking at uh, zero volts. Hang on one second, let me get this straightened out. Okay. Zero volts, very little, nothing. I'm not even touching anything at this point. Okay. Three volts. All right. I wiggle this, this wire around just a little bit. Boom, zero, five, four, zero. Wiggle it just right. It kicks on. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna repair this harness. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see if we can get a better view on it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Right, uh, right on where my finger is, right behind it. There's a little break in the wire. So I'm gonna repair that and. Uh, Hopefully regain our voltage issue and that should clear our code plug it all back in and go from there I mean you could see when I well, you couldn't see me wiggle it But when I when I wiggle that wire around it, it definitely threw it the voltage all over the place uh, Three five volts doesn't sound too bad for this keys off right now or key on but the engines off So but dropping to zero volts is definitely not right or even like you know point zero five you saw that so we're gonna uh I'm gonna go ahead and repair this and hopefully that will solve my problem. Now, right here, this is the death tank. I'm sitting my, uh, your, the camera here is basically over top of the rear axle. You can see all that new material up there. That's the death feeders inside the tank. And that white part right here is the, the pump. Um, so if you gotta change this or take this off, my recommendation is one, if it's too full, pump the fluid out because this is a lot to take down. It's a small tank. And there's really no good place to put a jack under it. But B, drop your spare tire out like I did. I'm sitting right in the hole where the spare tire goes. You can see the tire sitting right there. Drop the spare tire out. And that gives me some really good access to unplug everything on top of this tank. Disconnect all the wires. Disconnect all the plugs. That way when you go to lower the tank, you're not fighting against the tank. It's only four bolts. One, two... There's a third one right up there, right on top of my light, and then there's another one on the other side of the frame rail up in here. But yeah, I recommend definitely dropping the spare tire. Take the extra couple minutes. It, I mean, this is, I fought with this thing yesterday, and I think that's why this wire got damaged. But the, the time I spent getting the spare tire down versus how much more comfortable I am. Or, or, wait, better idea, buy a lift. Buy a $7,000 lift to fix your truck. Which I think is a good idea anyway, but nonetheless, let's get this thing fixed. Okay, so there we are. I got a uh, little extension of the wire in there because I couldn't make it work. And uh, just getting things kind of wrapped up here. I soldered it back together, both ends, put a little extension in there. Uh, no, I'm not going to replace the entire harness. That'd be absolutely ridiculous and time wasted here for one little crimped wire. So, uh... I'm going to get this thing heat shrink back together. We're going to plug it back in. I'm going to go clear the code, start it up, see if the code comes back. It was, if I cleared it and shut the truck off, key off, uh, and then turned it back on, uh, start it up, the truck engine light would come back on. So after this, hopefully I can uh, just have a cleared code. And maybe, a, maybe a permanent code, but that goes away with time. Okay, so now we're back. I got the multimeter. I'm just checking it while I'm down here. You can see I got my, my black pin in the ground, and I have my red pin in this wired pin just looking through the back, carrying it through the front. You can see we got three and a half volts. Wiggling it around up here. Three and a half, 3.9. We're holding pretty steady there. 
but she was a lot better. So I'm gonna plug this back in. We'll go check it, the check engine light again, and go from there. Okay. Now, <clears throat> man, what's falling asleep being on this thing? Ooh. Okay, key's still on. I got that unplugged. Key off. Plug the scan tool in. Bluetooth, I got that turned off. Connect to the blue driver. Blue driver app. Key on. Let this thing connect. Connect, connect, connect. This is taking a while, huh? Read the codes, check engine light, it's still on, but it's not started, so. Okay, under the mileage, this is all other codes. We're gonna clear everything, because I repaired the wire. Clearing. Okay, now, <clears throat> permanent codes right there. I don't know how well you can see that. It seems like it's a little blurry. Um, those go off with time after driving it, like 200 miles. Confirmed or pending are the codes that you're looking to be cleared. Right now, I got none of those are up. And the permanents, like I said, we'll learn, learn more about them. Uh, more info on permanent codes. Permanent codes cannot be cleared by any scan tool. Once the vehicle determines the issue is resolved, it will clear the approximate appropriate code. Okay, so they're cleared, off, back on, it's fired up, check engine light is off, very nice, let's see, read the codes again just to be sure, guess what, I broke the hydro seat, oh come on, just the lever, Gauge it? Yeah. No. Mix. The mix level. Oh, that thing was getting bad. Yeah, it finally snapped because it was all rusted out, I guess. Because the little piece that broke off, I mean, it was like nothing really holding it together. The the pump itself is good. You just, we got to get a new level. Or rig something for now. I was using a nail. Oh, man. Oh, Yep. See what you have here is uh, it's being simply adjusting the piston caliber entry resonator points that you find at the back end of these F-350s. You can see he's right up in there. He's got the, the air blaster there and the, the heat pointer thing and something electronic over there. Not quite sure, but definitely has the gullet. Gullet's there, and uh, yeah, wow. Okay, back on this 2011, I uh, fixed the one wire, another check engine light. I don't know if you can see or not, right, right at the end of my thumb there. I don't know how clear that is, but uh, maybe you can see it. The purple wire's got a, a pretty good cut in it. And then there's one right below it, a gray one, same thing. So we're going to repair that. And then uh, the check engine light's off right now. I think it might be just wiggled the right, the right spot. So once those are repaired, we are going to uh, plug it in and verify the codes are good. I got a new wiring harness on top of the tank here because the plug broke. The big plug cracked and I wasn't uh, too happy with the connection. So we're gonna do that and then try again. All right, well, that's out of the shop now. All done. Codes never came back up, so we're good with that. <clears throat> now, electrical problems are kind of a pain. 
to troubleshoot when you don't have any of the books or the diagrams. So what I've learned to do, and it's worked out fairly well for me so far, is all these diagrams I get. You ever see those forms online that uh, you have a guy asking questions goes back and forth with a mechanic? That's where these all came from. I paid 35 bucks for a whole year, and whenever I have a wiring issue, which is that this is now the second time I've used that service um, to try to troubleshoot, they got me diagrams, they got me troubleshooting data. Uh, this code here moved to this. Did you do the whole, you know, two whole sheets of paper with uh, troubleshooting stuff? And I got the whole wiring diagram for the truck, all for 35 bucks, which is about the cost of uh, by buying a manual. And then I get the back and forth, this and that. So I was able to use this wiring diagram and color coordinator to figure out what what wire was actually broken and see if that, before I repaired it, if that was part of my problem, which reduction pressure sensor was the code, voltage low, and in fact it was a gray and yellow wire and a gray and violet wire. That was my problem. And you can see they're both right there. I'll get real close maybe if it'll focus you can kind of see it those are my two wires that were broken and so that seems to be the problem and that now the check engine lights off and we're good so i just wanted to share that with you because those things i feel like are kind of sketchy uh, if you've never bought one before i had to pay for it but it, it seemed to work out very well for me on, on two situations this one and then i had another one i had a horn that kept shorting out and then eventually the flasher stopped working or the, the horn wasn't a big deal, but the uh, the turn signals were always flashing. And sure enough, I found after he directed me where to go, wiring-wise, what's on that fuse, what's on that circuit, I was able to follow the entire circuit all the way back, and I found the, the shorted wire, which was good. I got it fixed. It took me about nine hours to fix it, but if you know wiring issues, that's about what you get. You get... A bill for 22 hours of labor and one butt connector. But yeah, we got it all back together. We're good to go. So this truck's back in service. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you got any questions. This is just one particular fix. Not really, uh, maybe not all everybody's solution, but this was my problem and that's my solution for me. So maybe this video helped you understand what happened. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.